Hi everyone, I'm Andrew. I'm going to be talking to you today about my lung biopsy. Uh, so what you can expect if you're about to have one. Now I had an abnormal x-ray and an abnormal CT scan results, uh, which led the pulmonologist to um, conduct an EBUS biopsy of my lung tissue and lymph nodes in my lungs. This is also called a bronchoscopy, and it's a relatively short procedure. However, there are some things to prepare for, and I just want to give you an idea of what to expect or what my experience was. Now, I am in the United States, and I do know that other countries' procedures are different. Some require um, going through almost like a tracheotomy through, through the neck, or pulling tissue from the back uh, between the ribs or below the ribs. I did not have any of that done. This was all through the uh, bronchial tubes uh, through down the throat. So what you want to do if you are having this EBUS bronchoscopy or if you're not sure how the procedure is going to go down, you can definitely contact your doctor and they should provide all of that information for you. My experience was this. So a week before, seven days before, you want to stop taking all uh, blood thinning medications. Your doctor should provide a list for you uh, that includes aspirin, ibuprofen, and uh, other things. Even uh, herbal supplements can cause your blood to thin. About 12 hours before your procedure, you should stop eating. Um, the doctors don't want the possibility of anything in your stomach coming up, either through coughing or just being prone and being pushed into your lungs or causing any other problems. So with those two things set, when it becomes, when it's the day of the procedure, you'll go, they'll put an IV in your arm and, uh, they gave me oxygen. I had somewhat low oxygen levels when I showed up and so they gave me oxygen and the um, once all of the doctors and assistants were prepped they brought me into the operating room the most unpleasant part of the whole procedure was that they numb your throat with lidocaine and it doesn't, they tell, they tell you how terrible it tastes. It didn't taste good. However, that wasn't the, uh, the worst part of it. So they had this syringe with a plastic tip, just an extended hose so they could reach the back of your throat, ask you to open your mouth. And the, the, the one that was administering this had a face guard just because they, are prepared for people to be coughing in your face or in their face. Um, and so they spray this in the back of your throat. It numbs it very well, so much so. And they said, just swallow it if you can to help numb all the way down. But it was so numb that you don't feel any of your muscle reflexes if you swallow. And so I was trying to swallow. The nurses were telling me that I was swallowing, but it was so numb, it felt like I was choking. Um, it really caused some anxiety. Um, I was, it was just a very stressful moment. Not terrible, but that, like I said, that was the worst part of the whole procedure. Within maybe a minute's time, they just said, okay, calm down, relax. We're going to give you some fentanyl which kicked in very quickly because it's intravenous. And within seconds, I was totally relaxed, even though um, my throat was numb. It wasn't bothering me anymore. Then they gave me propofol, and I don't remember anything after that other than coming out of anesthetics with the doctor standing over me, saying everything went fine. And... Sitting me up, I was uh, just kind of getting used to coming out of this anesthetic. Um, my throat was 
scratchy. The lidocaine had worn off by that point and my throat was scratchy. They showed me some pictures of the procedure. Um, they took about nine tissue samples, if I recall, from both sides of my lungs. And uh, they told me that I should expect to be coughing up some blood. Uh, and I ended up over the, the most, the majority of it happened day one. It was maybe a tablespoon of blood or less. Um, and then over the next couple of days, I would cough up blood mostly in the morning. Now, they said if you're coughing up a, a cup of blood or half a cup of blood, that's serious. But, you know, what I did, what I ended up coughing up was in the realms of normal or acceptable. Um, my throat was extremely sore and scratchy and I had a headache and I just didn't feel very good. My heart was racing. I had a heart monitor on uh, during the rest of the day. And so my recommendation would be to go in hydrated. Obviously not, you, you can check with the doctors about drinking. I did not do that. But I should have been more hydrated than I was. I didn't drink enough uh, the day before. And I believe that played a big factor. But I had a headache for about 24 hours. Um, I just didn't want to do anything. I just laid down and slept. And um, then I developed this kind of dry cough um, that persisted for about a week after the procedure. And then everything's been normal from then. Uh, fortunately for me, I was not diagnosed with cancer. Um, the, the diagnosis was almost kind of inconclusive. Uh, they did find some granulomas, which they said it is most likely sarcoidosis. So that's what I'm uh, dealing with. Sarcoidosis is an autoimmune uh, disease that's not very well understood. Um, but it is definitely better than being diagnosed with cancer. So I'm extremely grateful for that. But that was my experience having the EBUS uh, bronchoscopy lung biopsy. And if you have any questions, I will try to answer them. Um, just let me know in the comment section below. And uh, let me know what your experience was if you had this procedure. But overall, it was nothing to be afraid of. I wasn't worried about anything. Uh, going into it, I was fairly confident that it would be more or less an easy procedure, even though, you know, nobody wants anything, any kind of tissue taken out of their bodies. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Bye.